We're going to talk today about using the accelerometer on the Arduino Circuit Playground and Code.org. The accelerometer is this little thing right here that says XYZ around it. So let's hop in. The first thing I need to show you is that when you're on a Windows or a Mac machine, you're not going to be able to do this in Chrome. So you need to install the free Code.org Maker app. If you're on a Chromebook, you can do it in Chrome, but you'll need to add the extension. So let's get in here. First of all, if you want to do the test your board and set it up before you start, just click on this little gear. You'll get the OK that everything's working, and you can hop back to where you were. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project in App Lab. need some text over here so I'm gonna go into the design mode and grab label and this first one is gonna say pitch and its ID will also be pitch actually I want to make the ID lowercase because I'll leave all of my IDs that way and I'm gonna call the ID pitch label and I'll make it a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on There we go. Now let's duplicate it. So I've got another one. And this one I'm going to give the ID pitch value. All right. Now I'm going to duplicate that first one again because we're going to mess with two different things, pitch and roll. So down here I'll give this one the ID Roll label, and then I'll duplicate this value one, and I'm going to call this one roll value. Just a reminder, the text is what you see on the app screen, and the ID is actually what you're going to use in the code, so they are not exactly the same thing. Okay, so now let's switch over to the code. And we want to be in the circuit toolbox, which you don't see here. So here's how you get that to pull up. It's kind of hidden. You click this little gear, and you'll enable the Maker Toolkit. That's the part that won't work without this app. If you're just in Chrome, it won't allow you to do this properly. So now we have two new toolboxes. There's the Maker Toolbox, which we'll save for another day and the circuit toolbox, which we're going to use now. So you'll probably remember that we have this on event. So when something happens on the screen, we also have an on board event, which is what we're going to use. And that's for when something happens on the actual circuit. So you could use that to code the buttons, but we are going to use it for the accelerometer. So whenever the accelerometer changes, we want some things to happen. So the first thing we want to happen is we want to set this pitch value to something new. So we're going to come in here to set property. And we're going to say set the pitch values text to something new. And that new thing is the accelerometers get orientation. I'll scroll over here a little bit of the pitch. All right, so pitch value is going to get a text of pitch. Should we try it? OK, so you can see it's got a 0 because nothing on my board over here has moved. Let me zoom out a little bit on this camera so you can see a little better what's happening. OK, so if I grab this thing and lean it where the front goes down and the back goes up like that, you can see that the value of pitch is going negative. Now I'll put it back on the ground and it'll go back to zero. Now I'm going to lean it the other way. I'm going to take the cord part and lift it up and the back of it will go down. I guess the bottom of it will go down. And this is taped down, so here, let me, okay. So now if I'm leaning this part up, you can kind of see I've got it leaned that way. Then you'll get those values and it can come back to down. All right. Uh, 
now we're going to deal, so that part's working, we're going to deal with the left and the right. Okay, it's going to be very similar. So let's come back over here to our code. This set property, I'm just going to copy that by drawing a box around it to highlight, control C and control V to paste. And then I'm going to switch pitch value to this other one down here, the roll value. Roll is your left and right. So whenever the accelerometer changes in any way, I want the roll values text to change to whatever the accelerometer gets for roll. Let's reset and run again. OK, so now let's try left and right. So when I lean to the left, I get negative numbers. And when I lean to the right, I get positive numbers. OK, so now all four directions are working. If you roll at a diagonal, or if you turn at a diagonal, you can switch both of those numbers simultaneously. And so now it's just, what are you going to do with those values? You now have um, a motion-based controller.